This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take your logo and carve it into a piece of wood like this using GIMP. And for this tutorial I'll be using my logo here. I'll have this linked in the description of the video in case you'd like to use mine following along with this. If you'd like to use your own logo the only thing um, that you'll have to do is make sure that it has a transparent background like mine does here. It has to be a .png image and it has to have a transparent background and it has to have some kind of negative space within it as well. If you notice here um, the two blocks forming the letter S uh, there's some negative space in there. If that's filled in with a solid color it's not, this tutorial is not really going to work. So um, that's the only thing to keep in mind when following along with this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up the uh, wood image let me go ahead and open that with GIMP. And there's that. Let me zoom in to 100% by pressing 1 on the keyboard. And by the way, I'll have this linked in the description as, as well. Um, if, when, you, when you download this image from the, from the uh, website link I give you, download the uh, image that's 12, I believe the, the, the pixel size is 1280 by 853, I think. Image, um, yeah, 1280 by 853. So download that one. It comes in various different sizes. So. Uh, what we want to do now is bring our logo into the document. So I'm just going to click and drag that into the page and I should put that as a new layer above the table dash all those numbers. And I'm just going to scale that down using the scale tool. Just hold control and grab the, uh, the corner arrow and scale that down. Give you about that much. Go ahead and click scale. And that's good. Um, I'm going to center that up on the page so I'll use the uh, alignment tool and from this drop down we're going to want image selected and then I'll go ahead and click on the logo and then I'll center it on the vertical and horizontal axis and what I'll do now is I'm actually just going to rotate this in a little bit just to give it a little bit of a tilt if you notice you see what I did here in the thumbnail just to give it a little bit of character uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab the rotate tool and I'm just going to rotate that around a little bit maybe like that and maybe it doesn't have to be centered I'll just put it over there go ahead and rotate that let me grab the move tool. I'll put this off to the left a little bit. It doesn't exactly have to be centered. All right, so um, what we want to do now is uh, I'm going to right click on this uh, logo layer, LBN dash logo, and I'll go to alpha to selection. And I want to fill that in with a specific color. And I already have that color set here on my page. So to get it set to yours, go ahead and click the color to bring up the color menu. And the code we're looking for is 21150F. So go ahead and type that into where your HTML notation is. 21150F. And go ahead and click go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go to edit, fill with foreground color or FG color. And it should change that to that that shade of that shade of uh, like a dark brown right there. And up here where it says mode, we're gonna change that to soft light. And then we're gonna to go to what we want to do now is we'll go to select, invert, and then we'll go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and we want to have these parameters set right here. Offset X, offset Y, uh, blur radius 8, 8, 20. We want to use, be using uh, straight black, the um, just, just regular black. It should be there by default. Opacity, full 100%. And allow resizing, no, we want that unchecked. Then go ahead and click OK. And it's going to put a little drop shadow, like an inward shadow in there to make it look like we're going into the wood like that. So what we could do now is we can go to, um, well, we could right click on this uh, layer here and go to alpha to selection. And then I'm going to click this button that says create a new layer to create a new layer. I'm just going to name this new layer. We want to use transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And then we want to go to select and grow. And we want to grow it by four pixels. Go ahead and grow the selection by four pixels. Then we're going to fill that in with white. I already have white set as my background color. Um, you should too as well. If not, just go ahead and switch it. And we'll go to edit, fill with background color. And it's going to fill that in with white. So what I'll do now is I'll click on the, um, the original logo layer beneath it and then I'll right click that and go to um, alpha to selection. And then I'll click on the new layer above it and I'll press delete on the keyboard to clear out that area within there. And then I'll go to select none and I'll change the mode that from, from this drop down. I'll change that to soft light. 
and I'll bring the opacity of this down to about maybe 54%, and I think that looks pretty good right there. And with that, we should be finished. That is a very quick and simple way you could take your logo and carve it into a piece of wood using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thank you for watching.